guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i am jess mel and it is a pleasure having you here with me so this is my third vlogmas video you guys i am sorry i've really been trying to do these 31 days of vlogmas but i youtube is not my full-time job that's that that's the thing but you know what i cannot lie i really have been having time it's just finding things to actually bring you content about and when i do have things to bring you content i forget to film but not today nevertheless thank you for sitting here so this video today well this evening right now and this is my son's room so that's all my background is not in my office space as usual um so i have decided to show you guys how i organize my mua kit for those who don't know i am actually training in different classes for a few things but the main one is esthetician and i notice when you do go to school for these things you have to know all genres like across the board and that is exactly what i have been doing okay so i said you know what before i completely get undressed and distressed for the night let me go ahead and make this video while it's on my mind so here we are um this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about like i say how i organize all my makeup and keep everything perfect to where i'll be able to find something um so that way i'm not rummaging through stuff oh i can't find this i can't find that that's not good because i've had a few MUAs do me like that and then i had one girl that i allowed to do my makeup and my and i broke out her brushes were not clean um they were they appeared clean but they weren't clean clean like they're supposed to and i broke out after she did my makeup and i was like never again never again but for the most part that's why i keep a natural face but when i do a beat it's something simple you know this is what i was for the day just a nice little simple look that's it that's it and you know just have that dewy look i love a dewy look it doesn't matter if it's summer winter spring or fall i love a dewy look um so let's you know what let me start running let's just get into it <laughs> okay so in this bag here everybody knows from my last video i told you guys where i got it from this is my level bag that i got from amazon i actually have two of them so this is supposed to be the large bag and then i have a small one the small one i started out with but i said you know what i'm going to keep that one for myself so that's going to be my own personal cosmetic oh excuse me bag so um ooh, child, I don't know what's in here. so i'm gonna open it up and let you see and also you can see the other things here too so these are all how the organizer bags and i'm gonna explain y'all about that too but we're gonna start with the big kahuna so everyone and probably have seen this video noted that this has been in my last couple of videos um because i've been talking about how to build your mua kit on an affordable basis so where the point is you're not breaking the bank you know what i'm saying to try to get all this good makeup on somebody that's just gonna wash it all off the next day no or just, just pretty much gonna wash it all off at the end of the day you know what i'm saying so you don't have to get an expensive um expensive makeup if i'm gonna use expensive makeup it's gonna be on myself not no other client uh, what i've learned is you just have to make them look expensive that's it so let's get to get so this compartment this bag comes with two compartments um i call it a downstairs and upstairs whatever so i'm going to show you how i organized and what i took out of here because before if y'all see my other videos it was filmed to the brim but i took out some things and started putting them in different compartments mm, 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 mm. so oh my god oh there we go oh so as you guys can see, this is what is in my bag right now. I have my eyeshadows. I have my 
uh, lipsticks, lip glosses, mascaras. I have my um, mist and primers and my setting powders. And that's about it that's up in this compartment right here. So that is it. Um, I'm not going to take everything out of this bag. If you go back, you will definitely be able to see all the makeup I've collected. <laughs> but like I say, one thing like I have learned is to incorporate your own brand. Like these are my own lippies. You can see they're actually, no, you can't see. It's like too thick. But they are different colors. So always incorporate your own brand into your uh, makeup kit as well. If you do have your own brand, or whether it be lashes, lip gloss, lipstick, it doesn't matter. Facial products, whatever you have, incorporate your own shit. Always promote your own self by any means. So that is all that is in there. And also, I have, I don't even talk about this, but I have this too. So these are my lip applicators, lip applicators, wands, and all of that stuff. Why is this like that? Yeah. So these are my lip applicators, wands, and everything else all in this compartment. So definitely keep it in here. And this bag also has a lot of compartments. That was a plus. But I said, you know, once I get up there and get more clients and, you know, stay booked and busy, I'm definitely going to get the extra large bag. But for right now, I'm just going to keep using my medium bag because depending on what the event is and if I need, you know, if I'm doing more than one person, I'm definitely going to bring somebody else along that does makeup as well so there we go um so that is this one that is that lower compartment on the bottom now i'm going to take you to the top part of the bag and the thing also and another thing i like about these is you can adjust the compartments to what you need and how you want it the sliders they come in they are adjustable so you can take them in take them out that's what I love about that. So in this compartment, I don't have too much in here except for my makeup mixing palette, my uh, cape makeup bib, my facial products here, and my uh, makeup brush waist bag and my arm uh, makeup brush cleaner. That's pretty much all I have in there. Um, like I said, before I actually clean this stuff out, it was more products in here, but I was like, I don't want to overstuff anything at all. It concerned the fact I will be going out of town soon. Um, so I will be doing makeup as well while I'm out of town. Now, so for these bags, bag number one. So in bag number one, I have all of my L'Oreal True Match uh, foundations. I really do love these. And I knew someone who works at CVS, so I was able to get, you know, whenever I need, she lets me know, hey, we got this makeup in rotation, what do you need, blah, 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 let me know, and I'll put together put together a bundle for you. And that's exactly what she did. So the only thing I needed right now, I knew I needed a foundation, because I didn't have any foundations. And I'm like, I did not want to try to go and buy individual foundations like that. Yes, you can get them off Amazon, but at real price. And also, I also found out too how I also got makeup is off of eBay. Now, it's a lot of people that on eBay and they do makeup boxes with different kind of makeup in it. Or you could reach out to the seller and also tell them as well, um, what are you looking for? And they will put together a box personally for you. I think at the most I've seen a box cost was like 200 bucks, But that came with like over a thousand pieces of makeup. You know what I'm saying? So... I didn't need that much makeup because I know I wasn't going to make it through all of that. But that's a good way to build up your MUA kit as well on a budget. And also, if you also do the app Macari, that is awesome because that's what my girl sells on. She sells on Macari and she's pretty much the makeup plug. Literally, whatever you need or whatever you get, tell her, hey, this is what I need. If you can get your hands on it, 
she'll build it for you and it won't cost much. She was like, okay, well, let's set a price and we work with that. So I got, I think, all 12 of uh, vape uh, foundations. I think they got 24 shades or 12 shades. I'm not sure, but I got enough to start with all 12 shades so I can work with anybody's skin color. And I think this is enough to start with. Definitely enough to start with. So now in, in this bag, I have my lashes, uh, my lash glue, and my under eye stickers. So I have my under eye um, pads as well. So I have got these lashes from Burlington. I mentioned plenty of time, but it's never, never tiring to mention what you get a bargain from. So that is the bomb.com. So I have, I got these lashes from Burlington and then also I mixed them with my own brand of lashes, Eye Candy Flare. And um, they are definitely in here. So like I say, you always want to promote your stuff as well and use your products as well um, if you have your own brand to you. Now, this one here is where I keep some of my palettes. So I have my contour palettes in here, my highlighters, and uh, I have some eyeshadow palettes and an extra pair of brushes just in case. I can open this real quick. Extra pair, spare pair of brushes just in case. And you know what? I'm also waiting on my um, electric brush cleansing machine. Now, I ordered that from AliExpress, so I know it's going to take a minute. But it's way better than ordering it off of Amazon because the same shit that come from AliExpress, some people be selling on Amazon. And you look at that and you just be like, oh, no. Mm -mm. This is definitely not it. But So this is what I keep in here. And I'm staying organized. So, the other bags, and those three bags I actually got off of Amazon. I got same-day shipping. And um, if you got Prime, you know, you know. So, those are TSA-approved uh, bags. So, I won't have to worry about that at all. And then, these here canvas bags I actually had um, when I was doing pop-up shops. So, if anybody will buy some for me i will put together a little beauty bag and um i would have my logo on them and everything and so before i gave them all away i decided you know what these bags are going to come in handy so on this one i just put my logo on my bags and uh labeled them what they are and the iron and they iron on and I know I just heard some noise. I tripped. And the iron on is um. Oh, that's upstairs. Okay. And the iron on is is really simple. That's why I love these canvas bags. And I got these off of AliExpress, not AliExpress, but I got them off of Amazon. They was really cheap. I forgot how much they were, but they were really cheap, and they came in a nice little pack of amount. So I was able to keep some and then split, give some away, um, to somebody else who. I know that would find good use for them. So like I said, it does have my logo here and what this bag is for. So this says lips. And only thing that's in here is just everything that's pertaining to lips from lip glosses, lipsticks, and lip pencils. That's basically what's all in here. And when I order me some more lipsticks, they're gonna go in here too. So I still got one. As you can see, it's a lot of room in here left for that. And this bag right here is marked eyes. So everybody know what's gonna be pretty much in here. And this is where I keep all of my different concealers. Now, when I was learning about this, I was just looking on a list of things and how they broke it down. So, you know what I'm saying? To so like what you need. And I'm like, yes, I need da 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 da. I'm not trying to break the bank, clearly. So, all total, I will say, I've literally only spent probably like $350. 
it's that like i said you know what i'm saying because the most expensive thing was the little level bag but for everything else then some of the things i've already had but i just built up you know for what i can't afford so i got all type i'm giving you variety of all type of concealers so i got maybelline i got um wet and wild incognito i got kiss new york i got la girl pro um that's maybelline again i got also got cover girl and yeah i think those are the main ones i got so i'm just giving a variety of concealers you know for everything and then in these two bags so this one says face and it's labeled face because this is where i keep um my makeup brushes now although i can't keep my makeup brushes in that bag um i might it, it depends i'm gonna start doing it too but i like the fact that they're not being crushed and my uh bristles are not flat or bent so i keep them in this bag and the good thing about it is you can go like this and they can spread out and I still, you guys can't see, but I have so much room in here. So this is where I keep all of my brushes. And these are brand new brushes, by the way. I have not been able to be the face yet. But I just been practicing on myself. But I have not been, you know, stepping out, but I am. And then in this bag, um, it says extra, but I also put my logo on both sides so for now i just keep my extra sponges in uh facial sponges not extra but i keep all of my facial sponges in here and that is pretty much it on how i keep organized and also keep things down because these makeup bags y'all can get pretty pretty damn heavy okay they can get really heavy and the one thing i do know you don't want to always have to lug out some things so this is how i keep organized and i know everybody's like okay so when you travel how do you what do you do how do you take that well i also have a backpack um and i also you know they're easy to go into your luggage because you already got the compartments and when you just ready boom just grab them out your luggage if you have to go out of town and do makeup you never know but for the most part, I also do have a bag because when you don't want to carry all that stuff sometimes, but like I say, when you do and you're doing a client, it's very good to stay organized. That way, when I go to the bag, I know, yeah, I may have to search through the brush bag to get the brush I want, but I'm not searching through foundation, this, this, and that all at once. So, no. Um, and when it comes to a foundation I need, I can look through the bag and see which one is going to work. So that's another reason why I got the clear bags. And I'm honestly, I'm going to order some more clear bags too. And I have some more things coming from AliExpress, but I know it's going to take some time. And definitely when it does, I keep going on my armpit. And definitely when it does get here, I will do a video, I promise you guys. But that is all for my video. So I want to just thank you guys so much for sticking in with me and watching me on these crazy journeys that I've been going through. You, you just don't know. Like seriously, like thank you. And I hope this video really does come in handy and help some of you. Um, or help all of you, help anyone that needs to know how can I organize all of this and also make space very minimal. I'm a minimalistic person. So I like things to have a balance and I like things to be neat. I don't like clutter and chaos because I can't function because I'm not. Ugh, you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do here and that's what we're going to learn. But I am definitely going to take you guys with me. I'm going to vlog my whole trip when I do go out of town for the holidays. So I cannot wait. And let's see you guys there and take you guys on along the way with me. But once again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 share. I'm trying to get my following up and I'm very, very have a small YouTube following and I want more subscribers, but let's connect. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you loves. Be safe and healthy and I will see you. Oh, let me scoot up to y'all a little bit. There we go, because I got I film on my phone. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.
I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace Beat fruit with the bare face and a slick tie, that's what she say She look good, she a big